Okay, and thanks for joining me guys in this exclusive offer. We're going to go over how to promote your affiliate links in any language once you have a list. So you don't have to be bilingual <laughs> to promote. So uh, a lot of marketers are venturing into the Spanish niche. So the Spanish niche is really profitable. So um, this, <clears throat> what we're going to be doing will be beneficial and we're going to be using Spanish for all this training. So um, for the beginners that are just starting out and if you know you don't have a list you need to complete myspeechmarketing.com where we go through actually creating our landing page and then once you've created that and you've sent some traffic to it and you've got some subscribers you know because we go over all that setting that up and then once you've actually got a few people on your list then we can start promoting different um, affiliate links to them so you need to have two th one of two things. You need to, to have a list already or complete myspeechmarketing.com and get that running and get a few subscribers before we can move on to this. Uh, so with that, that should be it. And All right, so we're going to do this training in JVZoo because JVZoo is like the most popular digital marketing Place and they cover a lot of different niches. Um, you have Warriors Plus, um, Zaxa, ClickBank, um, Commission Junction, PureFly. I mean, there's literally thousands of them, depending on your strategy. It's depending on what are you what you're trying to to do. Um, Zaxa. I don't know if I mentioned that one. Also, you can do a Google search for your particular niche and then just like products affiliate programs and another thing you can do like if you're on a website of something that you want to promote scroll down to the very bottom and 99 percent of the time there's a way there at the very bottom in the page like below the footer or in the footer somewhere there where you can have you know it'll show you the steps to take to get signed up to start promoting that so there's literally thousands of things that you can promote. Um, so we're going to assume that you've created your JVZoo account and connected it. You have to have some uh, personal information, your financial, you know, like a PayPal, stuff like that to set up one of these. But it's, it's really simple and it's not very hard at all. And this is really an easy platform to work with because they make everything so um, they integrate it with several different autoresponders so you can even though you know like before you used to have to create a separate page like we, we created in myspeechmarketing.com to get those subscribers on your list but now it's all done through you know, um, through default in JVZoo and Assuming that you have one of those um, autoresponders. So if you don't, I mean, I got a, a link in the description for GetResponse, but it, it doesn't just work for GetResponse. There's a couple more, too, that, it's, that it connects to. So you just have to look and see um, when, we, when we get to that step. So, okay, so you've created your account, and you're in your dashboard, and you'll come to these um tools my account my library product library excuse me sellers affiliates and then overview so you'll click on this little drop down arrow over affiliates and you'll scroll down to find products and when you click on that you'll be directed to this same page and you see this pop up here we'll talk about this in a minute remember this here pop up guys because i wanted to show you talk to you about something in here okay so you can search by category subcategory products um, keywords so you can put in you know the name of the product or the, the the vendor or you know something like that and and it would pull up the vendor and stuff so you can do it by roles I think a 250 so it would show 250 products or offers so assuming you you want to promote this okay we're just going to use this as an example 
you would click on that request and it would bring you to this um, and what I wanted to show you to remember that about that pop-up that that came up that um, about four years ago I started promoting a bunch of stuff you know I was just real eager and excited to be a you know to get going and I grabbed all anybody that would approve me I was just promoting it didn't even have to be related to anything it was just promote 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 <laughs> you know um so and what I was doing was I I would send traffic to it. Now it wasn't paid traffic, but it was hard work in creating, you know, to get this traffic to these links. So I was sending a lot of traffic to these links and the sales page right here, you have this option to see the sales page. So when I went and requested permission and set it up, I, I looked at the sales page and it didn't have the pop over. So that thing that popped over like that we just saw on the previous page when I refreshed it and that came down that drop down page well um, sometimes like they'll try to look for new marketers to grow their list for them so like for instance by default this vendor if you purchase you're gonna get on their link so your subscribers buy this product they automatically through JVZoo go on on his list because he integrated his um, autoresponder in inside of this so they automatically just go to his campaign <clears throat> now I'm assuming he did that most smart marketers do that but so he would go through that but what they were doing is you would go to the sales page and not even literally two seconds into it, you wouldn't even get to read the headline and this page would pop up and say, hey, get this free thing, you know, and it would be something that's like really, you know, I don't know, related to the to the sales page or whatever, or it didn't even have to be. It was just saying, hey, get this free thing and give me your email address. Well, that was, you know, in my opinion, that's sort of like, okay my page is not converting my sales page is not doing well so what can I do okay so I'm gonna put this and take this pop-up you know opt-in um, page and they put it over the sales page so I'm just saying my experience so just do your due diligence when you look for vendors and, and uh, stuff and regu regularly check your links like if you're sending especially if you're going to send paid traffic you know you need to check them like every week make sure that the sales page is still you know still the sales page now i know people put a lot of you know different stuff on their pages down at the bottom at the top to try to you know like an exit pop and all that but that's but that's not what this was this was you went to the sales page and two seconds later you know this um landing page popped up that said hey get this free thing and give me your email address so they wouldn't even you know the page the page wasn't working the sales copy wasn't working or whatever and they decided to put that over it so basically what what they were doing was you're sending your subscribers to them and they're getting on that you know if they get that free thing they're getting on their list so they can market to them without having to buy the product so basically I feel that it was like taking my subscribers because without without me getting anything and that's not everybody you run into that very rarely 99% of the marketers are you know there's a lot of honest marketers that do it just the right way that you know how it's meant to be done um, so I'm not saying you'll run into that, but I just I'm just saying be aware and check you know what's promoted. Okay, so once you have done that, I'm sorry to go on and on about that, but I just came in, guys, from a run and um, the power went out. <laughs> it's back on now, but it was crazy here for a little while, and we're so anyway. So you would come here and you would ask to. Re 
um, to promote this. So you'd say something like, um, hey, I have a list of 50 subscribers that I think would love this. Um, I, don't, I don't mind being put on delayed commission, you know, and leave them. Feel free to contact me if you like, and you can leave an email address. Now, you don't have to, but because JVZoo, you know, they'll reply to you inside of JVZoo. They won't necessarily um, reply to you through an email, but it's always good to have that there just in case. So, anyway, once you have been okay, once you send them your little message asking for approval, you um, click that to note, and then you hit this here to request approval. Uh, and then, oh, well, let's go here first. Another place to look for. Um, uh, places to find affiliate links is inside of Facebook. So based on your niche, just um, search the topic. Um, if it's dog niche, if it's you know whatever health. Uh, this particular product that I chose was PLR Producers Group. This is one of the groups that I belong to, and they're always putting products. Um, these are in pre-launch. Most of these. Um, and I found this one yesterday, and <clears throat> I thought it would be really good for my list. Now, this is my list is not health or um, well, this is not health, uh, self self help, I believe. Yeah, this is my list is not this, but I can approach them on the PL PLR side and try to market that you know with that angle to my list. So I chose this product inside of a Facebook group you can do the same you can just join these groups that have different launches or you can go to other things that I mentioned I forgot to tell you about Munchai and there's JV share there's different there's like a hundred different places so find your product then request approval and so this one I requested approval I came here and I clicked on this link and it took me to this pre-launch page. <clears throat> Gosh, I am, I really ran a lot this morning, so I'm sorry. Uh, so guys, uh, you come to this page here, and this is a pre-launch. Now they've got promotional tools, they've got bonuses, and they can show go over the prizes. Now the bonus page, it, it's available for you to actually upload to your hosting if you'd like or you know but I don't I'm not going to use all that if I wanted to put bonuses in my stuff I would create my own and give those to my list so um, also okay so let me explain to you I'd come here and I would enter my information in here and they would either approve me I won't hear nothing from them or they will deny me. So those are the three things. So you need to just build up some thick skin and just be prepared to not hear from some of these guys and just, you know, continue on because, you know, there's some people that are just not going to answer. That's just how the game is. Um, so assuming you get answered and they, they approve you, well, you'll receive an email. Oh, and let me another thing join some of these groups that are and if you find a product that it's in pre-launch they're more likely to approve you because they're trying that's what the op that's what they're trying to do gain affiliates you know so that's what you need to look for like pre-launch phase Whew, gosh i'm out of breath all right where were we okay so we're on the sales page and then you get an email if I can find my email saying that you're approved so you can go here and get your link so you click on that and that will take you to JVZoo okay so now we're in JVZoo and this products in pre-launch so it doesn't we can't see the sales page but we can get our link so we're gonna grab our link okay so one of the reasons that we mask our link <coughs> is 
because like if we're sharing our link in Facebook, they don't really like JV links. Uh, a lot of places just don't like those type of links. And um, it's always good to have a place. So now if you guys are using Google Analytics or um, you can track your links inside of your autoresponder. So there's many different ways that you can track your links and make sure, you know, you can see how many people are opening it, how many clicks you're getting. So <clears throat> any one of these is good. Um, Bitly, like I said, um, Link Supercharger. And then you can, if you're using Google and you're using Google Analytics, that's even great too. So, um, but like I said, this is just my preference. If you want to put a raw link inside of your email, I see a lot of people doing it, and then they just track it inside of their autoresponder. Okay, so we'll, we got our link and we got it. So now we're going to work on coming here to our, uh, let's see, we're going to look at our page and we're going to look at the tools that they provide for us. Now they should, this, uh, I've already looked at it and they come with, this is a bunch of tools here that we can use. They have the launch, pre-launch, the PLR angle, the make money online angle, the scarcity angle, and then a reminder. So seeing that this is in pre-launch, we're going to go and use these pre-launch swipes here. Now, if you were promoting this in English, you know, you could use these images and stuff like that. You know, you can take an image and add it to your swipe. But since we're going to be promoting this in a different language, we're going to have to go and create our own um, image now this is totally optional you don't have to put an image in your messages you know I know a lot of marketers that just put text to the point but my preference is just creating an image it's just a little better for people so let's go ahead and get our swipe first so I'm gonna use brand new mind-blowing health PLR see I don't want to put that health word in there because my list is uh, make money online um, how to overcome your worst nightmare I can do this I can do this here grab that copy that and then we're gonna go to Grammarly and that's gonna be my headline and let's look at these the body um, now you have one two three you have three one swipe I believe I believe this is one swipe where they have three um, times to enter their link and I don't really like to do that well no basically this is not I think this is three different swipes yeah so these are three different swipes here click here for more details and then click here to check this out okay so you could use this, you know, edit it ever how you want. But for this training, we're just going to grab this first one here. Because I really only like to use, uh, put one link in my um, emails. I don't like to bombard them with, you know, I mean, you can. You can put two, you know, two or three. Um okay so this then we come to Grammarly and we check and make sure everything is uh, structured right and pronounced spelled right so after we do that then we'll grab it we'll grab the body and copy that and come over to Google translate and we'll paste that in there and let that work okay so once we have our Spanish that's the language that I'm gonna work with because that's the most sec most popular second language in America uh, and then once we have it there I always like to now this is another personal preference I always like to capitalize my first letters of each word so I come to this text formatter and you can use any one of these you know there's paid ones and there's free ones 
um, and I just capitalize the first what letter of each word that I am using. It's just something that I like to do. So I'll cut that and exit out of there. And then once I have that, then I'll come to my swipe or my autoresponder and I will create newsletter or message or you can even create an autoresponder. Now, I've already created a campaign for this, Killing Depression. It's real simple. If you go to myspeechmarketing.com, it explains how you can make a, create a campaign. And, you know, I've created this. And also what I've did is I've connected it inside of JVZoo. And you'll do that when you go to, let me show you something. When you go to your, um, your, when you get your link, you can also go down and integrate your autoresponder into, hang on, let me, into their JVZoo system. So when, you know, when you make a sale, they automatically go on your list instead of, you know, waiting and all that. You'll automatically know. See, so I've integrated it in right here. And you can integrate um, SendLand, and it's got a couple more too. You just have to, when you, you know, look at it when you have that option to integrate your um, autoresponder in there. Okay, so I've done that, and that is real simple. So if you'd want to do it, you just go up here and go on to integrations inside of your autoresponder, and then APIs and click on that and then it'll get you yours. You copy it and bring it back and paste it into JVZoo. So that's something you can do also. Um, so we're going to create a newsletter. And then, you know, if you were going to do it that way, you would have this campaign and you just create your autoresponder and <clears throat> um, like that, you know, just space the, the days out. But we're going to do it this way. So now we're coming back to, we have our we have our body. Now we need to grab our headline and translate that into Spanish. Because that's what's going on our email. So we're going to come back over here to Google Translate and paste our headline in. And then we're going to copy that. And I always like to capitalize my first letter of my um, words. We're going to cut and then we're going to come back to our autoresponder and paste in the message. Now this is for your personal use. Your, cut, your subscribers won't see it so you can customize it. Put their first name. You can put their first and last or their you know, I wouldn't rec recommend anything other than their first name, you know, if you wanted to do that. Um, and then you can, if you're using Google, you can come through and, you know, you can put Google Analytics if you're using, um, your, you know, if you know how to use that. But otherwise, you can just uh, track it in here. So then you continue on to the next step. And once we get here... I always like to use a blank start from scratch with just one image. Okay, so now that we're we've got our template, we're gonna work on our image. So well, well let me paste in our headline. And then once we do this, we're gonna work on our image. So, and I'm going to make the image inside of Canva. Now, like I said, if we were going to be promoting this in English, we can just come over to the sales page, do a right click, save image as, and then it would save to our desktop. And then you can save it to whatever. But since we're going to be using Spanish, we have to create an image. So, let's pull out our trusty speech editor or voice note depression 
sad girl. I don't know. At all. Yeah, uh, we'll try. I'm going to search in Canva for sad girl or um, or depression. Oh, wait, create a design. We're going to do a logo. Now, you can, Canva is free and it's paid, so you can try try it out, you know, and if you want to upgrade, you can. So, it is, a, it is free and then it is paid. So, here's one of the times we have to hit the enter key. Okay, so see, sad girl, I guess I can use, now some of these are as little as a dollar if you want, you know, if you want to use any of these. So you would just search, and I'm going to go up here and grab a free one, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to grab this. Well, I guess I can use this one here. She, she kind of looks sad already in the back, so I will just use this one. Okay, so that's the one. That's right here. It's also free. So I'm going to come back to Grammarly. Well, I've already since I've already had my my headline translated in Google Translate, and I've already uh, capitalized all the first letters we're going to go ahead and paste it into Canva so I'm going to come over here and grab a text or a heading and I'm going to place that right here and I'm going to paste in my stack oh yeah well <laughs> sorry guys let me go grab this again from my text editor So now, once we have that in place, we can play around with this and take as much time as you'd like to make it pretty. Now, I just like to make it simple. So I'm changing that to something simple because, again, we're just using this for our email. If you were going to do a Facebook, um, Add or something you could make it as pretty as you like <clears throat> so I will fold this if it lets me and I'll change the color to jet black okay so and then now I'm going to come over to my email or Grammarly wherever your choice and I'm going to grab a little bit of this body so in other words they know what it takes to create well not that um, yeah how do we how to overcome your worst nightmare have you ever bought PLR and struggled I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna come over to my translation tool and I'm going to paste this and translate it in Spanish and then I copy come over here and paste it into my text <coughs> editor and once I have that capitalized my first letter I will copy and come back to Canva and add a new text at the bottom Could make it as pretty as you like and spend as much time as you like it's your preference it's your choice
Okay, so there's our image there. So I'm going to download that to my desktop. And it won't take long at all. And then I come over to Get Response. And that is saved there. And I come over to Get Response. And now I would like to paste in my body. So I am going to Google Translate. And I'm going to grab all of this. Copy. I'm sorry, did that I say translate? Uh, yeah, Grammarly, and then Google Translate, and then paste that in. Okay, and then once we have that, we copy that. I love my little text editor that I... Now, this is just an another step that you can... You know, you could do this, or you don't have to do it. But I just have always been doing it for years and I enjoy the way it makes my text look. So then I'll come over to get response and I will paste that in there. Okay now I'm going to look for my image. Go to my images and upload from URL. I'm sorry not URL upload from my desktop so I've got that image saved with that girl somewhere right there okay and it should be populating any minute there okay so that's our image okay so now it's time to put in our link now you can put a link in the image if you like, you know, just click on it and grab your link that we saved in our notepad and paste that in. Now this product isn't live yet, it's still in the pre-launch stage, so when our customer, our subscribers will click on this, they will not go to, to, um, the sales page until it's live they'll just see the you know so you have to make sure that you send out or make sure that you send out um, the reminder telling them it's live and stuff okay so click here to check it out and you can again do whatever you want to put click here or whatever and we'll just highlight that and come here and put in our link uh oh there's our link copy and paste okay so we've got our link in here and our link in there so that's enough for me now I always like to check the spam score and send myself a test message okay so this is 2.1.9 once or so the maximum allowed is five um, so they you know I've talked with them and they said oh yeah it's fine but I like to do an extra step now this may help you guys too uh, I can't remember who taught me this but you go to Oh, let me see. You go to down here. If you have Get Response now, if you're using Aweber, I'm not sure how that works. But you go to Plain Text, and this window pops up, and you click HTML to Plain, and it shows you this here page. And when you see this line, some something about the formatting inside of your, you know, page. When you click Wrap Long Lines, and it seems to condense your your message a little bit your spam call score changes drastically so that's a lot smaller and then if you really want to get technical you can go through and you know get look up all this stuff and try to figure it out and get it down to zero so then we'll send a test message to my email and that is it so then you just choose your campaign and I'll choose this campaign 
and next step and no matter what autoresponder you're using you should have an option to schedule your post so this one is not live till actually the 29th so you know I can schedule this and send it out today you know like I said there's many tools there to use with that inside of this when we go to our tools so when you get approved now not everybody's gonna have these tools so you just have to be creative if they don't have them and you know come up with your own verbiage on how to you know grab stuff from the actual sales page is what you know grab some text from here go through and read and you know grab a couple paragraphs and then talk about it in your own words and stuff like that you'll have to be a little creative if they don't but nowadays to be honest a lot of them do provide the swipes okay so we're back so you just schedule it and we'll just schedule it for the 27th and then done and that 